What's up, e-bike brigade? We're back. We're we're back in the saddle again. Ah, yeah, we're back. We're on the R2. We're in pedal assist too. We got a 46 tooth sprocket in the front. We're going over to Matt Grippy's house for a ride with Grippy and Chase. Chase is a, a new Super 73 owner. A new member of the loophole culture underground. We're in pedal assist too. And we're pedaling along. And it's pretty easy. We're not using up too much battery. I'm hearing some noises. We didn't crash this thing. I don't know why this would be making noises. And then we're gonna loophole right over here with our fellow loophole buddy. Loop on, loop on friend. Uh, yeah, it feels great to be back on a bike again. We cut our cast off two weeks premature. I was a little worried about it for that first week there, but now it feels fine. I would definitely not recommend doing that. Always follow your medical professional's advice. Don't cut your cast off prematurely, unless of course you have a camera on your head and you know, all that shit. You haven't made content in four weeks. Then maybe, but all other times, no. Okay, we used our throttle there for a little bit. Hey puppy. Just smoking a blunt, walking the dog. Come on, man. Come on, man. Have not figured out that front brake disc noise. I can't replicate it. I took my front uh, fork guards off. I thought that was maybe maybe the problem. I thought maybe it had like a. Uh, I thought maybe it was rubbing some plastic off of the fork guards, and then it was getting into the into the cal in between the caliper and the disc, the pad and the disc. Do we loophole it? Because it's a, we're going to loophole just a second here. Just a second. Just, just to get our legs. Just to get our loophole legs back, you know. It's been a while since we looped this, this hard of a hole. You're in the bike lane. You're in the bike lane. You're in the bike lane. Saron is uh, sitting. The Saron is in storage for a while. I haven't taken a look at it since uh, since the incident, since the uh, the April third incident. But it's in pretty fair running condition. I just uh, want to make sure I test everything out before I take it for a real ride. Wow, didn't even look. Didn't even look. Just went right out the right out the gas station. That's why we have to be on high alert at all times. Hello. What's up, brother? Come on To pedal three. Oh, they're going throttle only. Whoa! Not gonna look even. Wow. Good God, Matt. You lucky man. You lucky, lucky man. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that was worst case scenario. I was trying to say yard sale alert, and I almost obliterated a woman. And she apologized to me. It was 100% like that. Well, you gotta look when you open your door. I 
mean, I was driving straight into her though. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town and they're peddling. It's, and COVID season is coming to an end. We're all going left. All bikes going left. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, you have a nail sticking out of your tire. You see that? Holy shit, he does. It's just in your, it's not puncturing, it's just in your tread. You should pull over. Pull over. Yeah. Is, that new? Is that from today? What the hell? I've never seen anything like that. I can't fucking see it. No, you're, you're completely fine. You just need to get rid of it. Pull over here. Ooh. That is crazy. No, that's that's a one in a million thing. That's a one in a million. And you're lucky it went like that and not straight in. Puncture it? No, it's just it's, it's just the tread. You're lucky it went just in the, the hard part there. Look at I don't hear anything coming out. What do you got there? A little tool? A little wrench that I'm gonna grab around this this part. Oh. Wow, now someone else will run it over. No, no. Wow. That could have been a, a day ender. That could have been a day ruiner. That was a day ruiner? <laughs> I don't hear it. But it no, it didn't go through well, we're almost to our destination. All the way into the car, I think it might be just right over. All right, so we're going to come up here and left on Pasadena Avenue in 0.1 miles. I think it's right here. Did my wheel pop on the right once? One of the most day ender moves. Okay, we're back. Slight little possible puncture, but best case scenario, hit the hit one of the chunky rubber knobs instead of puncturing the actual tube itself. Very lucky. Whoa, this is my kind of exploration. I gotta say, it's been a month since I've been on a bike. And uh, honestly, it feels great. My wrist hurts barely at all. I don't feel any pain with the vibrations or little bumps and stuff like that. I got a good grip on the handlebars. I have no idea what's going on here though. Where's Chase taking us? Down this crazy road.
Well, that sounds like a cool event, I'll tell you that. Cool, all right. No problem. Are we not spooky enough to get in? Of course we're not. Sorry, you guys are not scary enough at all. I mean, this guy's got red hair for God's sakes. That's pretty scary. That's as scary as we get. All right, so what I think we got to do is come back down. Go left on that 35th street. You never anticipate a spooky swap meet when you're trying to go not. through the mm -mm. dirt road. I was not expecting that. I'll tell you that much. Uh, you know what I was thinking? When places uh, post your content without giving you credit, you know what that is? What? It's loophole cultural appropriation. It is. It really is. All right, we, we encountered an unforeseeable, spooky event. This is it, this is it right here. I've been on this path before with um, the Cafe Racer boys my microphone didn't work so it was all scrap this is a ch this is a slowdown this is a slow path Necessary. Yeah, I was on this path at night with the Cafe Racer boys and there was a section missing. A section of concrete missing. No cones indicating that it was missing. No nothing. It couldn't have happened by accident. It's not like a bunch of homeless people just picked up a giant slab of concrete. doing yoga in the water that's not just any water that's northern california piss water high grade premium grade piss water from norcal and or or oregonians but yeah there was a, a little section missing and then we almost hit some some lady with her dogs that weren't on leash leashes but you know this is a bike path not an electric moped path surprised that no one is out here today though this is a cruiser path go fast as much as the next guy but you know might as well be safe and have range that's my new loophole model be safe and have good range and also we've been sitting around for four weeks not doing anything so might as well get our, our blood pumping a little bit you know pedal assist too with a the 46 tooth front disc is not that bad. What if we do pedal assist one? Giant pole, giant piece of wood. Oh yeah, Hugh almost killed us right here. Turning right, coming from this way. One of the many times Hugh has got me into a life-threatening situation.
Oh, come on. It's another loophole. Jumping on a train for free and taking it to whatever state you're trying to go to or it's trying to go to. I think this way is funner than the bike path. this <laughs> that's a little improv jump back on the bike back in the loophole okay guys think no really crazy idea. yeah think of positive thoughts when we go over the suicide bridge I don't know man cool neighborhood a whole hour of following Chase? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to do the ride back. You can host the ride back. No, man, this is your spot. You're in the spotlight. You got your beard. Very incriminating beard cap in your bag. Just prominently displayed. Like, hey, I've been drinking and driving. That's a root beer cap. Okay, suicide. Suicide bridge. Seems pretty suicide proof. Oh yeah, this is depressing. That's depressing. What are they jumping down into? A playground? There's a playground down there. People are jumping to their deaths and landing in a playground. Yo! That's not how you do it, guys. Don't do it at all, but if you are gonna do it, drive your boat out to the middle of the ocean and just sit on the edge of your boat. And as you're leaning backwards into the water, pull the trigger. That's all you gotta do. The birds will pick apart your floating carcass for a couple of days until you start to sink, and then the fish will take care of you. And you just donate your body back into nature. Sign over the, the last of your cryptocurrency over to me. I'll take care of it, I'll put it all I'll put it all into crash on stake.com. Oh no. I'm glad there's someone in front of us without them sailing down. Oh yeah. How are you liking the RX? Loving it. You glad you went with that instead of the S2? Yeah. It's like butter. I still like the S2. You'll never you guys will never uh... I like the S2 too, and now you can buy these seats. Yeah, right? no, I saw that. I'm gonna probably get one of those. Ooh. Okay. Now I see what my Jordans doing. don't usually go this deep it. into the wilderness. Huh? I said my Jordans don't normally go this deep into the wilderness, but that's fine. <laughs> You're a big Jordan guy. I'm an Air Max dude. No, Air Max are cool. I sometimes you. I just, you just don't know what color waves to get. Everyone finds uh, a certain Nike that they just latch onto, and for me, it's been Air Max because when you're talking about colorway, they have everything. These are these ones are crazy. I get these weren't that expensive, but I get compliments on them all, all the time. They're fucked up now, but they say have a Nike day. 
Oh, the sneakerheads are gonna love that. Have a Nike day, and they've got the little smiley face. When they were what is a Nike shoes. day? Is that when you sit down as a child and you make shoes for 16 hours a day? For yeah. 13 cents an hour? There's so many million, there's millions having a Nike day right now. Yeah, <laughs> against their will. Look at where this, look at the, how this guy has... He's got it all figured out. He's a good member to the culture. There it is. Sick. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, wait for this uh, McLaren to go by. I know. I can't outrun her. Oh, that's actually a Lotus. Uh, that's a Lotus Evora. Not a McLaren. It's okay to turn your head for those. When Grippy rolls past you singing the Red Hot Chili Peppers, that's how you know it's a good Saturday. That's how you know it's gonna be a, a top tier Saturday. Why? Why two? Why two dead squirrels? What the hell? We're unlocking new sections of the map that we've never been to before. How did both those squirrels die? You think they just both got hit by the same car? One bike going one way, one bike going another way simultaneous. <laughs> oh my god. Onward? I know, I was just gonna ask, what's your what's your go-to pedal assist? Two. Two's two's the, the one to go with. What are we at? So we're not a hypocrite. Oh we're on we're on one. Uh oh. Oh, you're. You're not allowed to bite. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just we'll walk them. We'll just walk them then. Yeah. How do we get out of here? Why'd you take us down here? I just. We were fine. We caught a Karen in the wild. Oh. What is that? Is that a path out of here? No, that's two people on bikes though. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that, let's go wherever this goes. It's serious. We, I feel like we really blew... It's we, serious. 
<laughs> it's serious. I feel like we really blew a Karen moment there. We could have really. I, I, I wanted to say something snarky so bad, but I was I felt so stuck. But I was like, what am I going to do? Yeah. For the video, it could have been funnier. Oh, we're right back where we started. Nice, but we skipped the Karen. <laughs> we did. It was, it was a Karen loophole. <laughs> The Karens, dude. Let's the Karens are gonna Good. multiply on us. That looks like real road. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, no, that's real road. That's where we want to go. We could have. What I was gonna say is, we don't speak English. That's always a good one when you're getting yelled at. We don't. Uh, I don't speak English. I'm so sorry. You want to go down? For, for one split second. I'm glad I didn't because I didn't want confrontation. For one split second, my instant reaction was gonna be. I actually <laughs> saw a bigger sign that said I can't. <laughs> That would have been great. Yeah. Actually, there was a sign above that that says, wait, you can no, actually now. Like, no, there's a way bigger sign that says that all bikes can be on I want to go back and look for that sign. I just saw it. Oh, yeah. All over oh, okay. So that narrative doesn't work then. Horse riding trail only. <laughs> no bicycles. My theory is that these should be able to go anywhere horses can go. This is much safer and oh, smaller than a horse. This is literally like... Oh, horse world. We were literally on like a horse trail that was like probably... Like, we're, we're lucky to be alive. Yeah. It what if we shot. just... What if we turn the corner to like 20 miles an hour? And kill the horse. And just turn the corner and there's a full-blown horse right in front of you. That would not be fun. It would be the best video. Well, it would be the best video of all time, sure. But it just wouldn't be fun for the months of recovery. Navigating. You whatever map you're using is bad. This talks shit on Apple Maps and then every single time. But you know the other video where we got lost up in uh -huh. the hills? Just because you guys told me to use Google Maps. Google Maps is bad for for bikes. Okay, okay. My bad. I couldn't get us to Stony Road, unfortunately. Hey, you got us to Stony Road when we were under that bridge. You better, you gotta get in front here, dude. Oh, okay. You gotta take charge if you're gonna be the new. I thought you did great, Chase. <laughs> Alright, we got Grippy taking hold of the pact. Just taking charge and just demoting Chase. I didn't even know that was possible, but I, I watched it. Grippy is now leading us home, back to home base. Maybe get some food first. I mean, we're just absolute professionals. I know, that was pretty, that was good. That was a good lane change. What's everybody's range at? What do we got for range? Oh, I'm at 15 miles of range. Hey, me too, brother. 15. Oh, 15. That's my favorite number, actually. That's us. Really? What's your favorite number? Any, anything over like 22. That's us? No, that's just oh. any my favorite numbers are a little higher than 15. No, no, man. 15's <laughs> a good one.
that safety. Jesus. That was quite scary. What just happened? We. That's the tech, that's the tech, and I start cutting left, and then I look forward, and then I look back. Oh, well. And I fish tailed almost. This is not a through street. Where are you taking us? This is where it wants us to go? Oh my god. I don't know, brother. Come on, man. You're, this is what this is what your bike this is what Apple Maps bike path is telling you to do. All right. Apple Maps what did I say about my Jordans going into the wilderness? I don't know. How many miles, uh, Grippy? Who knows? We're home, man. Oh, yeah? Wow. Woo All right, we said peace to Chase and to Matt Grippy. We had a pretty fun little day going out to Pasadena. That was a fun, eventful ride. Great, uh, great first vlog from being back from an injury. That's going to be the vlog, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along with me on my little adventures. Remember to stay safe. Don't worry about going fast. Just worry about getting to where you're going without dying and without spending money on gas. And if you are in the market for an e-bike, and you settle on a Super 73, go ahead and use my promo code in the description below for $100 off your Super 73. Helps out your wallet, helps out the channel, allows us to get cool little Super 73 toys to do reviews on and to talk about. Chase your dreams, save a dinosaur, ride an e-bike, Peace.